Wow, it is amazing up here. It is, isn't it? Look Absolutely at that. Yeah. brilliant. Oh, you need not to be over. I did. I feel like uh, Leonardo DiCaprio All right. in Titanic when he really? stands on the end of the boat and he puts his arms out and he goes, I feel like I'm king of the world. Uh, okay. That's what I feel like, king of the world. I feel like turning to all those people down there and yeah. saying, bow before me. You go over there. You go over there. Worship yeah. me. Come on. I just feel like a king. I can see why you might feel like a king being on top of the world, but oh, I'm not sure how amazing. the bounce down for you is going to work out for your mark. But no, you know. it's exhilarating. But there's a big difference between me and Mandy this morning. You might have noticed. Yeah, I was um, going to say, I'm enjoying the view, but it's not chilly up here, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit windy, isn't it? With all that blue sky, I thought, you know, I thought it was a nice summer's day. I've got him all chopped out. I'm already... Something tells me that Mandy did not come prepared already. I did you not you see the right. signs? Did you not see the signs saying mountain this way? And did you not think that... Well, I was following you. Yeah, but did you not think it was going to get a little bit cold? Did you not see how I was dressed? <laughs> well, I thought you were going to be over the top, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just you being all theatrical. You know? Oh, yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, no, but the thing is, I came prepared, whereas yeah. you didn't. No, I didn't. But I am really quite cold. And I'm actually cold. starting to feel a bit... Not exactly sick, but I think the cold's getting inside me. I'm sorry, I feel not not all that well, really. So a bit I think chesty, the a little bit ill, up, maybe. Because we get down this mountain. Yeah, well, yeah. I've got something yeah. for you, Mandy. Have you? Yeah, yeah. Because okay. uh, I came prepared. You can see those in those rocks there, are you? Well, all right, I'll stick them in the rocks just here. Leave them linked up. That's it. Uh, I've got some things here which yeah. I think might help you. Really? Oh, yeah. Excellent. So I've, I've got a spare coat. Oh, my spare wow, coat, really? which I think, I think I can um, yeah, I did oh. sanitise my hands before I put stuff in and before I came on set. Yeah. So uh, there's a coat, oh. I think it might be your size, wow. which is quite good. Oh, it's even got one name in it. Yeah. <laughs> so, just so it doesn't get lost. <laughs> Excellent. I've Down also got a blanket, because when you're oh, ill, wow. uh, having a blanket is oh, always really, yeah, really good. Yeah, when you feel cosy and like nestled up and that. Like... <laughs> Yeah, and I thought it was going to be cold, and I thought we might get a few sniffles. So what I brought oh, was I, I, I brought lovely, some um, some you. soup. Did you? Yeah, I brought really? some um, chicken noodle uh, soup. I think you call it broth, don't you? Well, it's called broth if you're ill. If you're not ill, no, it's, it's not. just soup, and if you're ill, it's called broth. So there, there's some soup for you. Thank you. It has a leash, which is very good. Wow, well, so, even in the pink cup for me. I know it's good. That's really cut. Thank you. Oh, it looks just like the one you normally have, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And um, I wasn't sure. I brought two sticks, thinking that um, you might need a walking stick. You know, did you? I like to look after the old. Uh, there you go. Letting no. that one go. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Thank you very much. Yes. So, really okay. Thank you. Do you know this really reminds me about teaching for today? Jesus is talking, and he's talking about when he comes back in glory as King of the World. Right. Um, where people really will be bowing down to him. So that's like the second coming of Jesus. Yeah. So yeah. not when he arrived at um, Christmas. Little baby. A little no. baby. But well, when he's going to come back after yeah. having uh, ascended to heaven, he's going to come back exactly. on the clouds. Yeah, he will angels. be coming in on the clouds. Yeah. yeah. Riding on the clouds. Yeah. yeah. So um, he talks about when he comes back and how he's going to separate people out into two groups. There's going to be some sheep, right. which are the big ones. You want to be in that group. Right. And the goats. Sure. Yeah, you don't really want to be in that group. They're not so good. Right, so he calls them sheep and goats. Yeah, he does. But he's actually talking about two different groups of people. Yeah. Um, it actually sounds, uh, I know I just talked about little baby Jesus, it actually yeah. sounds like Christmas because you've got a, a naughty list, the oh, goats, and you've got I the nice list, the yeah, sheep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm actually going. starting to get quite excited. Yeah, I can see why you are. Christmas. Do you think you can hold on to Christmas till next week? Because next week is Advent. Yes. And next week we will be lighting a candle and it will really be the start of Christmas. But it that's will be next the week. Excellent. What Jesus is saying is he was telling people that every time you fed me when I was hungry. Or oh, is this like the, the criteria for being in the good yeah, group? To get onto the good list. You fed me when I was hungry, you right. clothed me when I was cold, you gave me shelter when I was homeless, you even visited me in prison. And when you did those things, they add up to you going onto the good list, list being a sheep. Excellent. Now, I understand that for the disciples when Jesus was talking to them. Yeah. Because uh, when Jesus was hungry, it's very easy to feed him because he was sat yeah. next to them. Yeah. So Mary and Martha did a very good job. They did. More Martha, More than, Martha Mary, than Mary. Yeah. Uh, feeding Jesus. When he didn't have somewhere to stay, 
uh, Simon Peter uh, opened up his house and his mother-in-law cooked for him, so food as well. Yeah. Uh, when he was um, put in prison, uh, so when he was taken away, actually they didn't get that one. Uh, no, they, they ran away. away. But the they idea is there. Them. They tried to stick it's, it out. You yeah, can understand what Jesus was saying. Yeah. If you've done this for me, then yeah. you're in. But yeah. we don't see Jesus. So how's that going to work for us? Mm, was it question. just for the people that were there? That's a good question. And actually, some of the disciples asked him that. They said that. They said, we've not seen you. If we'd seen you, of course we'd have fed you. If we'd seen all these homeless people and we knew they were you, Jesus, we'd have we'd have looked after you, we'd have brought you mm. home to our house, we'd have treated you like a king. But we just thought it was the normal people. We didn't take notice of them. If it'd been you, it would have been different. And what Jesus said was, every time you help anyone, one of the least of these, it's as if you've done it for me. So, Mark, good news for you is right. that today, when I was cold, you gave me a coat. I did, yes. When I didn't oh. feel well, you gave me a blanket to nestle up. Yeah, in. so I cared for you. That's what you're talking about. When I was hungry, thirsty, and cold on the inside, you gave me hot chicken good. box. Yeah, yeah. So I would be and you on the good side. And you look after me, try and keep me steady. It's not easy. Yeah, yeah. So yes. th that would put me in the good list. Yeah, you can be a sheep. Right, well, I could be a sheep. Well, that's good. But I suppose the question for us today is um, how do we go about doing that? And actually, is that all it is? Because I'm pretty sure that when Jesus came, he didn't say just be nice people. No. And that means you're going to get in. I think there's more to the story uh, than just that. So in our groups today, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about how do we get onto that good list? Yeah. How do we get ourselves into that group of sheep rather than being in the group that isn't quite getting it right? And what does Jesus offer us? Uh, so it's Christmas not all time. About, it's not Christmas again. It's Christmas. not all about what we do, is it? And we do know that we're going to yeah. look at that a bit more. We're also going to look at Jesus had, he summed up the Ten Commandments into two. And these are also oh, key. We know this, don't we? We know because this. Because he does talk about loving your neighbour, which is what we've been talking about. There's first the first one. The first one is um, love the Lord your God with all of your Heart, everything. soul, mind. Heart, soul yeah. and mind with all of yeah. you. There we go. And uh, the second bit of that commandment, Jesus said, was to love your neighbour yeah. yeah. as yourself. Oh, <laughs> the coat. So I would love to have a coat up here on the mountain because it's cold. But that means that I actually want you to have a coat as well, so that yeah, you're not see, cold. You carry them away up before, thank oh. you. It, it does make sense because it, it brings yeah. light onto things like Jesus' story of the Good Samaritan. Yeah. Um, yeah. And other bits like that. So yeah. make sure you sign on at 10.15 on the Zoom meeting. Uh, come along and we'll send you off into a group, which I think was with me this week, uh, but also possibly Mandy or Jeanette. We're not sure. Maybe even Karen. You never know. Who knows? Come Who knows? But come on at 10.15 and we'll yeah. see you there. Bye, guys. Okay, bye.